Michigan has 12 species of currants and gooseberries, and all of them produce edible fruits. Now, in some species, the fruits are spiny or don't taste very good, but they are edible. In general, currants and gooseberries taste good, but they often have unusual accents, and based on the ones that I've eaten, the pulp seems to be much sweeter than the seeds. As for the task of harvesting, whether that's easy or difficult will depend on which species you're harvesting. Some species are a lot spinier than others, and dodging all those spines will slow you down. Also, some species have solitary berries rather than clusters of berries, and that can make a big difference in the time it takes you to harvest them. The berries can actually be expected any time from June to October, depending on the species, but some should be ready in September. And since they can be eaten raw, no processing is required, unless they're spiny. Now, if the berries are spiny, I'd recommend that you burn the spines off, and that's because boiling the berries may not adequately soften the spines. To identify currants and gooseberries, look for shrubs with palmately lobed leaves arranged alternately or in clusters. Then, check the aroma of those leaves because it's often very distinctive. And when I say distinctive, I don't necessarily mean pleasant. After doing that, check the flowers. They should be ovary inferior and shaped like a bowl, cup, or tube and each one should have five sepals, five petals, and five stamens. And last but not least, make sure that the fruits are indeed berries. In Michigan, only currants and gooseberries will have all those features, and being able to recognize these shrubs is a good skill to have. <laughs>